Hey, what's going on guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. I'm back with more apps and games at the end of another week. Let's get started. If you're like me, you struggle making decisions sometimes. There's too many options, there's too many ways that you can choose wrong. At least that's how I think. Um, so this app actually helps you make better decisions. It's called Decision Crafting. So I have just these four pizza places just to make a silly choice of choosing pizza, but you could do this for a much more uh, difficult uh, decision. Um, so what you do is you have your uh, options, in my case four pizza places, and then you give them some characteristics. So I did toppings, crust, cheese, and price. And then I'm gonna rate these on a scale of one to 10. And I also weighted these, so like I um, chose how important crust is to me, how important cheese is to me, and so these ratings factor into that as well. So if I'm giving cheese a seven out of 10, and maybe cheese is really important to me, that would weigh higher. So I do this for all four, tap the check mark, and then it's basically gonna make the decision for me. So in my case, Jets is where I should get pizza. Um, but obviously you could do something much more complicated, like where to go to college or what to do about a job, things like that. Instagram recently made it possible to upload multiple images to the same post as a gallery. And one of the cool things you can do with that is upload a panorama. This app called InstaSwipe does it for you. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a panorama. I have this panorama of a bowling alley here and you can choose how many images you want it to be cut up into. So if I do two to one, you can see that is a better use of space than if I have a three by one. So I'm gonna do two by one. I'm gonna tap the check mark to be okay. It's gonna process this and crop the photo. So then we're gonna save it and then we're gonna open Instagram. And now I just wanna make a post and I'm gonna choose multiple from my gallery. And now when I swipe through here, oops, I put them in the wrong, I put them in the wrong, <laughs> I put them in the wrong order. Uh, but the idea is if I put them in the right order, uh, they would be seamlessly connected and it would be able to scroll through it like a real panorama. There are a million note-taking apps in the Play Store, so why not another one? Uh, this one's called Notely, and the cool thing about this one is you can take notes in three different ways. You can do a simple text note, you can do an audio voice note, or you can even do a video note. And all of these notes you can add hashtags to to find easily. So I have a few that I've made up here. So buy groceries, I tagged food. And if I tab the food, it's gonna show me all the uh, notes that I made under that tag. Uh, and then you can also separate it by the type. So here's all the text notes, here's all my audio notes, here's all my video notes. Um, but other than that, it's just a simple note taking app. If that's something you're interested in, this is a nice one to check out. It's almost impossible to read Wikipedia and not get sent down a wormhole of just random articles that are all linked together. This game takes that into advantage. So the idea is you start with a Wikipedia page and I have to see how many steps it can take to get to a different Wikipedia page. So I'm gonna start with lentil here and I have to get to Lao, which is a country. Tap play. And it's just gonna display the full Wikipedia page as I would see on the web. And it's my choice to see where I should go to get to the target word. Now it can take a while, so I'm not gonna show you this. Um, but as an example, previously I started with kale and I had to get to apricot and it took me seven steps. So you just, once you, you know, you tap on a page, now it takes me here, that's one step. Uh, you can open up all these things, go here, that's two steps. You get the idea. So. Uh, you can learn while you're playing this game because you can read the Wikipedia articles um, and see how good you are at using Wikipedia. Papery Plains is just a simple endless uh, flyer game, I guess you would call it. Um, all you're going to do is just go left and right through these obstacles. You're flying over a river and you have to go through uh, like rocky tunnels like that and collect these coins. And these coins can be used to upgrade your plane to make it better and better. I didn't do very well there. My best is 206, um, but it's just a, a simple premise. You've probably played games like this. It has a really cool low poly design. It's a minimalist UI and it's easy to play. It takes up some time if you need to kill a few minutes and it's free.
And that's our apps and games for this week. Be sure to let me know if you enjoyed any of these apps and games. And also, if you want to leave recommendations for apps or games that I should feature in upcoming videos, let me know those too. But in the meantime, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Fandroid channel for more. We'll see you next time.